excited to start the year. I feel like everyone this year, like there's so much positive energy. Competition dancers have, a, have an excitement, have a dynamic force to how they dance. When I'm performing, it's just an inexplainable high. I, I want to let everything that I have touch everybody in the audience. Overall, the competitive thing is a great thing. It helps you have that competitive aspect that you have to have to make it in the professional dance world. My first memory of dance was a ballet class that my mom put me in. My mom had actually run into the dance teacher at the post office and said, I have this kid that won't stop moving. When I first came into class, I just felt like I was at home. Dance is a, a true form of art. It's just moving art. A dance is expression. It's like an outlet to say things that I don't know how to put into words. In this industry, there are literally thousands of opportunities where if you have a passion for this, genuinely have a passion for this, there is a stage out there that is going to pay you to do what you love to do, and you need to go find that stage. When we were growing up competing, it truly was competitive. It's definitely changed now. As far as awards and that kind of ranking, it is not as important as it used to be. It starts with a desire and it starts with a passion. If you really love dance, you will push yourself. Apparently I talk about dance excessively. I it's know! Not. It's like a normal amount. We're good mommies, but I'm not the best seamstress. Awful so Hi. You be nice. She tries. She's not a morning person. I don't want to get up tomorrow. It's 7.30 a.m. Yeah, I'm not up for that. The lessons that are learned in the studio are priceless and are endless. You gotta work, you gotta put in the time. You know, you gotta have that perseverance. I really do think that if you have desire, that you can do anything. It's about being the best you can possibly be. Not about winning a prize. I realize at the end of the day, it's just, it's just dance. Dance because it's fun, because it keeps you healthy, and it keeps you happy. If you want to do it competitively, and you think it's something that you want to make a career out of, and you want to come to convention, and you want to be amongst the best, then isolate how to do that. I like the fact that Rhythm worries about dance. We don't worry about the trophy we're going to get, the platinum we're going to get, like whatever. It's just about dance. All kids are gifted. They just open their gifts at different times. Competitive dance is a ladder, and if you see the ladder, you will rise to the top and get the goods that are at the top of the ladder. Finding those children who have that passion, maybe aren't the standout, but have the heart, and to tap into that and to see them grow and to be so proud of themselves, that to me is the reward. That's what it's all about. You can't Google dance. There's no getting around it. You have to work hard. I'm really nervous. Why not? There's a million other amazing dancers here in amazing studios. We just have to come and represent all the talent that we have. Good morning! Welcome to New York City Dance Alliance. My name is Joe Lantieri. How many of you are here for the very first time ever? Just curious. Because we really do consider what we do to be one big family. So if you guys are here for the first time, we say, welcome. Nice to have you guys. It's very interesting. I fell into dance through the back door because I really went to college as a theater major, had never danced a step in my life, but yet I had worked professionally as a singer-dancer and I had no training. So in college I knew I needed to take this seriously. So I went to University of Southern California, uh, received a BFA in acting and directing, moved to New York to pursue a career and some choreography opportunities became available to me. Next thing I knew, um, the teacher that I took from primarily was doing some work at North Carolina School of the Arts and um, asked me to sub a class, and the rest is kind of history. I started teaching and loved it. Knew, knew that I loved it, knew that I was passionate about it. 
it stuck. The level of talent, the level of commitment, the diversity of style uh, and training and passion, I think that every year we see that get higher and higher and higher and better and better and better. Dance is hot right now, basically. It's very hot right now, and I'm really questioning how long that will last. We've seen an, a fusion of style as far as what you see presented on, a, on the stage, especially now since we're in this environment, I'm speaking of a competition stage. Um, I don't think you would have seen as much, for lack of a better way of saying it, artistic work presented in the competitive environment. Um, and jazz was jazz. It was a little more black and white. Now it has many colors, you know, and it really is a fusion because there's a modern influence, there's a contemporary influence, there's a ballet influence, and yet it's all still being called jazz. Um, and I think that's great. I have so much respect for the local dance teacher that is looking to challenge their kids to not only expose them to as many different wonderful teachers from across the country that they can at these types of workshops, but also to make sure that in-house these kids are doing as many different styles as possible. It was not, not that long ago you wouldn't have a ballet dancer that could sustain a hip-hop class and then change their shoes and do a tap class and then do a, a normal jazz class and all that. And now these kids can do everything. I, I live in a suburban town outside of New York City at this point now and most of my neighbors know nothing about dance but they could name those kids from So You Think You Could Dance. You know, and, they, and they'll, they'll say, wow, you know so and so and so and so and so and so. So it becomes contagious. I don't think that there is one child that will attend this convention or be in one of these workshop classes that will not give us 350%. And I think when you see kids with that kind of focus and that kind of commitment and that kind of work ethic, it's unbelievable.